Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Matt and it is Terror. No, it is Wild Wednesday already. Holy smokes, I l I'm letting the days get behind, get by, like sneak by me. It's hump day already. Whoop, whoop. Almost, almost time for Friday, which is always fun. The weekend, my favorite time of the week. Um, hopefully you guys are having a great uh, um, day so far, a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, whenever it is you're watching this, hopefully you're having a great time, you know, doing all that jazz, um, you know, please do like, share, and subscribe, as I always like to ask you guys, because seeing you guys, uh, uh, your faces day in, day out definitely makes this face happy, uh, it gives me, uh, gives me some joy, that's for sure, because watching my silly little opinions about films is, is is definitely very nice and and uh, uh, genuinely they loved. Thank you guys. Now on to today's movie, folks. Today's movie is a different kind of movie. It's I'm trying to de like I like it. It's not a good movie by any means. It's really bad. Um, but I but but. There's lots of problems with it on the the technical aspect of what happened. Like the transfer is really bad. Um, the the um, uh, uh, the uh, I guess there's shots and film and stuff missing uh, because the negatives were destroyed at one point by the uh, producers of the film because they they didn't. Uh, they were not aware of what they were um, getting themselves in for. Now, this one's from uh, 1986. Uh, it's not rated. Runs about an hour and eight minutes. It's a very short one. It's just barely, you know, barely over that hour hour stuff. Uh, it stars Nick Van Suet, uh, El Helga Vanderveld, uh, Let Jots Miraclas. Uh, Kerry Von Middel and Martin Schier, and this is directed by Johan Van Werderdersch. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm not going to pronounce that one. It is none other than Lucker, the Necrophagus, Necrophagus, or Necrophagus, whatever it is. I'm not sure. Um, very, very cool name. Very interesting concept for a film right here um it is one that will stick with you for years uh uh I, the first time i watched it i had to re-watch it again uh just because i was like confused by what i saw and plus like i said the quality on this at least made the uh the copy that Synapse Films released here, which, by the way, this is the special edition from Synapse Films. Uh, as far as what do we got here, no reversible cover art as usual. Uh, slide you back in there real quick. We got a standard issue DVD, and we got a nice little insert in there. It's got a couple of uh, other... Others, uh, Synapse films listed here, and all four of those are Solid Gold, Maniac Cop, ba Basket Case 2, Nail Gun Massacre, and Street Trash. Those are all awesome. I love Street Trash. That's one of my, one of my go-tos when it comes to, uh, uh, films that I, I want to watch when I'm either down or when I need to be entertained. You know, it's one of my, one of my faves. Now, on to today's movie. Today's movie is going to be a tough one for me to describe just because it is very hard to watch. You got to really pay attention um, because, like I said, the quality is bad. It's very dark in places. The uh, the the footage gets grainy. It gets gets very out of focus at at some points. It's very a very hard movie to watch. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is definitely better than yesterday's film because yesterday, what was yesterday? I forget. Uh, the Bunny Game. Yes. Uh, what a movie. Uh, uh, that one was one I had a extremely hard time watching. Um, I I know I'm uh, in the uh, the minority on that one because I know a lot of people that do actually dig that movie, and I you know it's just one I never never was able to get into. 
Now, uh, back to this one. What is it about? It's about, okay, Lucker, Lucker, John Lucker is a necrophiliac, and he, uh, was was jailed and he's put in a special kind of uh, mental asylum for where he is comatose. Basically, they keep him drugged up to where he can't do anything. Um, eventually, he I'm guessing his body grows an intolerance to to the drugs that they're giving him. Uh, he is able to. Uh, uh, Take down the people that are the nurses and the 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 guards that are in his in his uh, room taking care of him and and it's a uh, uh, kind of it's it's an okay little altercation. It's nothing that that you're gonna you haven't seen before. You know, it's very very um, unoriginal. Now um, and then you go him getting out and then. Pre his previous crime, he um, had murdered, um, gosh, I forget how many women exactly, but what had happened is he got, he was necro, he was, all of them but one lived, and the ones that died, I believe it was eight of them, they uh, uh, all were, well, obviously murdered, and then the, their corpses, he kept their corpses around, and, and raped their corpses, and did stuff with their corpses for, for hours on end, and days on end, you know, some pretty sick stuff. So, he is actually on the hunt for that girl. Why? I really don't understand that at all. Because when, when you have had that t much time to come up with something, you think you would go with, with new, new people, uh, something, something fresher, something... Uh, uh, not so, so easily to, to track you down with, because, you know, I mean, the guy is already an escaped criminal, and he's on the run, uh, so, it, his, it, it'd be hard for him to really get around and get away, I would, I would imagine, maybe, you know, it was the 80s, and things were a lot different than, um, I believe this is a Belgian film. Um, I could be very wrong, um, but it is it is uh, uh, an interesting one. Uh, and then on this, I forgot to show you the special features on here because there is some decent special features. This uh, has the neck. Blah, blah, blah. The director's cut is basically what uh, you're watching, right? What the normal version is on here, but there's also the original VHS version, English with Dutch subtitles. So, it is, um, it does have quite a bit on there to give it that special edition, at least. Um, as far as watching that VHS version, I never have, because, uh, the, the director's cut is what the director wanted, and so that's what I, I myself will watch. Um, now, as I haven't, I will eventually someday probably watch the VHS one. It probably has very bad quality is my guess. Uh, you know, it's, it, uh, um, back to, um, him. Now, uh, he's, he's looking for that one girl, blah, 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 blah. He ends up at this bar at one point. And this girl uh, comes over and approaches him, and she's a a uh, woman of the night. She's a slatter, and she's a uh, prostitute. She's a hooker. She's a a hua, you know, one of those kind of ladies. Um, she she's real greasy. Uh, so so basically, she com comes over, uh, uh, approaches him about a a uh, a. a date, you know, for them to go and ba and have, have sexual relations. Uh, uh, she buys him a beer that he eventually goes and kills this other guy. Um, that whole thing is kind of stupid. Um, he takes her back to her, to her, um, apartment and she is, she proceeds to turn on uh, some porn for the guy, and he decides he's not gonna be down with it, and he, he, uh, 
or not the guy. The uh, the guy is not really showing much much attention to towards the video, or or her in general. He's just kind of stone faced and and not really much emotion at all going on there. It's it's it can be um, uh, quite dull in places. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then you know he goes on to kill her, and then you get you get some nice little necrophilia stuff. There's more stuff at, after that, but I'm not going to give that to you. You have to watch Lucker the Necrophagist to to find it out for yourself, and you must get the director's cut. Uh, I hope hope if any of you guys know if the Tetro Blu-ray if that's a better quality. If if it is, please let me know because this is one I would like to upgrade. And and I haven't really I haven't gotten into the Tetro stuff yet, and I've heard great things. And their 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 packaging is great. They're releasing some some great titles. I mean, they did an amazing job from what I can see with uh, Doll Syndrome. I mean, what a what a freaking weird movie that was. That was a really good one. Now, let's get on to my ratings for this one. Now, this is one, like I said, it suffers a lot of technical problems because of, of the uh, the negatives being destroyed and all that jazz. Um, uh, basically, you're left with a shell of a movie that could have been something better. It kind of, it's, it's very discombobulated. Um, the, the tone of it is up and down. Uh, the, there's giant gaping plot holes, but all that stuff I do take into fact that the negatives were destroyed. I always take that into fact. Um, I'm trying to think what else there was, um, do, 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 nothing else that, oh, the, the producer, the reason why the negatives were destroyed is because the director didn't tell the producers what the, uh, content of Lucker was, so that happens <laughs> uh so i'm gonna give it on the technical side one to five i'm gonna give it a two it's not very good on that technical side it's a mess it's very messy uh one that can be very hard to watch at times um now let's move on to an entertainment side this is a much more entertaining movie than than what i'm le leading you on to because you need it, it's it's got some fun stuff that's going on there especially with the necrophilia in there i mean it's it's a it's it's a tender subject with with a lot of people because it it is very disgusting um, I feel it's one of those things that if you add a, a necrophilia onto a killer's resume, it makes them an even sicker, more vile uh, human being that you want to want to see murder more folks. Um, uh, at least that's what I want to see. So I'm going to give this on the one through five on the entertainment scale. I'm going to give it a three. Yes, it's middle of the road. Um, not going to blow your mind. It's, it's got some nasty, nasty, nasty stuff going on in here. There's a whole thing with, with, uh, um, with a rotten corpse and, and involves Lucker molesting it with his hands and doing something with his hands afterwards. That is very, very disgusting. I'm not going to let you guys know. You must watch the movie. If you have, let me know what your thoughts are. Did you like Lucker? Um, and also, like I said, I asked the, uh, the question about Tetro. Do you guys know anything about that? Please, please, please inform me. All right, guys, I'm going to put Lucker down, and I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm coming up on that 14-minute mark. I got things to do. I'm going to uh, let you guys go do what you got to do, and I love all of your faces, even yours over there and yours back there, the ones that don't like seeing mine, but you hang out anyways. Love you.